Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another cool and fun tutorial. We've got the Union Pacific EMD DDA40X. Highly requested ever since I started doing my engine tutorials here the past month or so. So I finally got around to doing this and uh, I think it turned out fantastically. So uh, we're going to jump over here on the other side of all these other trains and we are going to get started. All right, guys, so I actually have two different color schemed versions here. This one is closer to the, the one in the pictures that I used, and uh, this one is kind of modified a little bit using the most common blocks that you may have on whatever version of Minecraft the, you are using. This is using my most latest texture pack, M4K, so you'll have some different blocks here for these different colors, and I will go over those here in just a little bit. Otherwise, again, we're going to be building this version right here, and the only substitute you will need is for the black colored blocks here you can switch for cobblestone so what are we using we are using nether brick variances stairs and slabs regular block hopper we've got mossy cobblestone wall we've got stone bricks and its variants we have black wool we have a polished diorite for engine uh, engines and exhaust panels uh, and again that you can switch out for iron blocks uh, i've got some light colored fence gates and fence posts i'm using jungle in this texture pack we've got iron door we've got glass panes black carpet orange blue yellow and <laughs> orange red blue and white wool and a ladder and of course in my texture pack i'm using torches which is a 3d texture for the lights on the front of the train and also the back all right so if you're building in my texture pack these blocks here that you will need will be the new redstone slab and also down here we've got the purple block that's what we're using for the color schemes so again get another quick look at it and we're going to start building it all right, you start with your black wool and we're going to put one and we're going to skip a spot and we're going to put four of them just like this. And same thing on the other side, four just like that. Whoops, just like that. We're going to put hoppers on the outsides and of course on this side. And then we've got stone brick slabs and those are going to go in between the hoppers and forward and back of the hoppers. Come on, bitch. All right, so it should look just like that. Switch over to your nether brick slabs or again, cobblestone if you're using just a normal texture pack and we're gonna fill in in between. So it looks just like that. All right, we're gonna grab our cobblestone wall and we're gonna put six pieces out the middle. Two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna grab our stone bricks and we're gonna put two in front of that and then two in front of this. And then our nether brick, two, and then two. And then our nether brick stairs right in front of that. We've got another stair on the outside here, and we've got another one right here. Just behind that, we have another brick slab on the bottom hitbox here and also here. And then one on the upper hitbox there and right here. All right, moving back, go ahead and put in three more pieces here and do it one more time. And then on a lower hitbox right here, we're just going to put another one. I just happen to have a slab right here, so it makes it so much easier just to go ahead and put one down, but that's what you should have. Now you're going to run five pieces across, one, two, three, and on the fourth and fifth pieces, you're going to have upside down stairs. So here and right here. You're going to run those back 32 blocks. Now again, this is overscaled, guys. This is it's not that long in real life. The whole train, I think, is like 30 meters, uh, but I wanted to fit the Union Pacific on the side, so I stretched it out just a little bit further. Still looks very good next to the other trains. Maybe just a hair long, but I like it. So anyways, I just want to mention that point. Uh, so we got 32. So there's two. and 32. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to pull these stairs all the way back and then fill the center in with the slabs. All right, so that's what you should have going down the middle. We're going to put three more slabs out just like this and then a slab of stone bricks on the outside here and here. We're gonna go back to our black wool and we're gonna put the wheels in right here. Skip one and then put four. Same thing on the other side. Fill the middle in with your nether brick slabs. Hoppers on the outside. And stone brick slabs in the middle and also on the ends. All right, switch over to your nether brick, and we're going to put in three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to go to our cobblestone wall and go one, two, three, four, five. We've got steps on the outside here and here. 
and then also right here and whoops right here and right here and then also a slab on the lower hip box here and here and that finishes out the back now again further on through the tutorial if you've built my other trains I'm gonna leave these parts out as far as the gates the gates will go up by three and then your fence post will go up by three and then go in and then around you can back up the video to this point after you get it done or uh, just try to glance and follow along as we build it up it saves me a lot of time so anyways that is layer number one all right guys back to the front of the train right here we're gonna put a stair and right here we're gonna put a stair just above that that slab right here we're gonna go back to our nether brick and we're gonna put three in the middle three in the front and then three behind that I'm gonna go back to our stairs and we're gonna put three across the front upside down so it looks just like that all right and then go back to your nether brick these are gonna run all the way down the middle so just to give us something to set against just go ahead and just start running some of these down all right back over here to the front we're gonna grab our nether brick stairs and we're gonna put those in right here on top of the nether brick slabs and then upside down in between just like that and same thing on the other side all right so so far it should look like this all right running back we're gonna go right here and just on top of this we are gonna have regular stairs facing up just like that so we're gonna to run to the back here and we're gonna to connect to that here in just a minute because it changes just ever so slightly we're gonna go back to our another brick and stairs and we're gonna put one here and one here and we're gonna do the same thing we did in the front three blocks across the middle three more blocks like that three upside down stairs and then back to our solid pieces and we're gonna run those up the middle for right now just to give us something to set against and then grab your stone brick stairs and you're gonna do the same thing we did down there and then upside down and then back over here on this side upside down all right go ahead and connect the three rows of another brick here in the middle all right switch over to your slabs and on the upper hitbox we're going to put in 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 switch over to your stairs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 and 22 so that's what you should have just for your count all right just like that all right again back to the front we're going to put one more stair here and one more stair right there we're going to grab our nether brick and put three here and three there switch over to your red wool or whatever you're using for red we're gonna put three pieces here and we're gonna go back on the outside of these it should be nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so it should stop right here and we're gonna need another stair piece right here and I forgot a slab right here on the upper hit box so basically you've got a set of stairs going up here and here so again you've got one right there and then stairs right on top of that your red two three three four five six seven eight nine all right double on up on the back side one two three and then you're just going to continue on down going the outside of this one here and this one here and it's going to be too wide all the way down to the other set of stairs so let's just run this down to right here we're going to put in a step and then our solid pieces one two three and one two three again another step over here and run your red wool all the way down to that and same thing on the other side all right we need two more pieces of upside down stairs we need one right here so it will accent this piece here and same thing on that side now that's where your fence posts are going to connect into so like right here and right here and then your handrail will go down the side just like that again so it looks just like this and then right up on top of that we're gonna have two more pieces that go across so we've got one here and one here and then one here and one here and then that leaves this open right there for them to uh, tend to the other cars if they're gonna <laughs> if they're gonna jump from there to the other one whatever anyways we're gonna go back to the front and we're gonna grab our orange wool and we're gonna trace right on top of the red so right here same thing going back and inside here and then I've got some black wool right here for the cabin area and I'm just gonna go four and then build that up and leave a spot right here for a stair to go up inside the cabin later on go back to your orange all right from this stair piece right here we're gonna have 16 blocks of so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen skip a spot and then we're gonna start again 
and run this all the way to the end, circle around, and then come back up the other side and make sure you leave a block empty in the middle. So right to there, come across, skip your spot, and that's what you should have. All right, next layer, we're gonna put two pieces of nether brick uh, stairs there. We're gonna put three across the front. We're gonna put two here, and then we're gonna cover in with our slabs. So it looks just like that. We're gonna put three pieces of black wool right behind that. And then we're gonna switch over to our orange and put four pieces and four pieces here. And again, this is gonna be your cabin area, so you can put something in for your seats right here and right here, or if you wanna back up by one and one, just like that and uh, put some little dials or something up here, some levers or some buttons for the control system. Switch back over to your orange, and we're gonna put four pieces, one, two, three, four, two on the outside here. Same thing on this side, one, two, three, four, two on the outside here. All right, this is where we're gonna write our Union Pacific on the side, so we're gonna switch over to our red, and we're gonna have two blocks here. We're gonna skip one, put two blocks, Right there is the eye, skip a block, put two more, skip a block, put two more, and then we should have two orange. Now don't do that on the other side, it's going to be opposite, we're going to do that here in just a minute. So go ahead and fill this in, and then continue down the side here. And basically if you want to just double this up, now you can, this is just, uh, your, your lettering is very, very square, and uh, that way we don't have to do it on the next layer. So go ahead and fill that in, just like that. We've got a door that's going to go in right here, so make sure you leave a spot for a door. And that's going to be right here. We're going to need a block and then go back up by two and then start your P. So we've got two here and then one. Skip two spots, one, two, just like this. Go back to your red, put two, skip one, put two, skip one, put one, <laughs> skip one, put one. This is your P. That's your I. That's your A, your C. And then your I here. And then your C. Just like that. Fill in with your orange in between. So it looks just like that. And then we've got one more of the orange, and then we've got the flag on the back. And that's really simple. We just got a white, red, and white, and then covered, oops, a white, <laughs> red, and then a white, and then blue across the top. And then we should have two uh, rows of orange, just like that. And then go around the back side. There is no door, not that I could tell. Just build that up. All right, going back up the other side, put two here, build your flag again. Back to your blue. All right, back to your orange. All right, and we're gonna do just pretty much the opposite of what we did over there. So we got four here, skip one, four, and then, oops, two just like this. Another set of four, another set of four. Fill in between. All right, we've got three spaces in between, just like this. The next one is going to be the P. So it should look just like that. And then back to your orange right here. And then four more right there, four more right here. Now this one I had to change just a little bit because I run out of room. So we're just gonna skip one, put one, skip one, put one, skip two, put one, skip one and put two, and then build that up. So it looks like that, P-A-C-I. Oh, this is F. This is the F. Sorry. F-I-C. So I was looking at my other one, and uh, I was wondering why there was a bigger gap there. So no, I didn't change it. It's right. Uh, that is why I made the train a little bit longer, so I could make sure that all those fit in there. All right, continuing forward, let's build around the cab. And that's really easy. We're just going to go one, two, three, four, two on the outside here. I'm going to put one right here, one in the corner. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, two right there, one here, and one here. And we've got our glass panes that go across the front, just like that. Now on mine, I left this open. If you want to put some in here, you can. Um, you can move your seats up a little bit. Again, you can adjust the inside however you like. But that finishes off that. Let's go ahead and top this thing off. All right, let's go back to our another brick, and we're going to go right across here. One, two, three, four, and five. And then up the middle by nine blocks, so it covers up the glass. Switch over to your stair pieces, and you're going to put one here and one here. And then you've got two upside down across the window, just like that. All right, back to your solid nether brick. Put three pieces right here. And pretty much down the middle, just go ahead and put some in for right now. Grab your polished diorite, or again, an iron block, and put two here and two right there. We've got slabs that cover those up on the outside. Now, I'm not going to do the other side. Just do the exact same thing that I'm doing over here. All right, we're going to switch back to our another brick. And we're going to put in three. One, two, three. And then we're going to come out on that one by three. One two, three, and then that gets slabs, fill in behind 
solid. All right, we've got another two block gap right here. And then on the third block, we're going to come back out again right here and go back by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should stop right here where that door's at, fill in solid in between. We got a five block gap across the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the door and cover it up so it looks like this. Nope, go over top the door. Sorry about that. And then on the sixth block right here above the A, you're going to put a block and then you're going to come out again. And we're going to go nine again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fill in the middle. We got a two block gap, one, two, and then on the third one, we're going to come out again by three, one, two, three, and then fill in the middle and finish wrapping the back of the train. Again, I only did half. You're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Make sure that you put your slabs right across here, just like that, and up here. And let's take a look at the finished piece where we're going to put some more slabs in the middle. So, right here where these two pieces are, you're going to go right to the middle of the train and you're just going to build it up by two. So again, right here where these two are, you're just going to build that up right here in the middle. Again, where these three pieces are, you're going to put three pieces. You're going to skip one play, uh, one spot and then put one, go out by one and back in by one, basically making this little star pattern. And uh, you can leave this open here in the middle or you can put a piece of cobblestone wall down in there or you can just put a piece of cobblestone or another brick in the middle of that. These are just all the, the engine stacks again. Whatever, whatever you want to do, skip a spot, and then you're going to put a cluster of three. So it should look just like that. So there's one, there's one, and then there's one. They just share the uh, the centers right there. And it should stop one slab over the door. And then you're going to skip one, two, three, and then do another cluster of three. So there's a little star pattern, there's a little star pattern, and there's a little star pattern. Skip one, and then you can put one more here on the back skip one and then put three and it should line up with these three pieces right here really really simple again I'm gonna kinda of give you an aerial shot of it you can stop the video if you need to it's really easy and then surround everything else with your black carpet and that gets rid of you know, the lines if you're using the brick or the cobblestone it'll help cover that up nicely or the green if you're using that in uh, my texture pack and that is the Union Pacific DDA 40X guys highly requested I think it turned out really really awesome I'm proud of this one uh, again slightly over scale but I really like it and I hope you did too just remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one later